In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a line chart where we can put an image at the very end of our line chart, which is basically a data point. So let's start look how we can do this. So let's start look how to add an image on the last data point in a line chart in Chart.js. So first of all, make sure you have the boiler template. The boiler template can be found here on Chart.js3.com getting started. And of course, this link you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, just copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to support my channel, check out my Patreon page here. And of course, we have a Discord channel here. You can join as well. All the links are in the description box. All right, so first of all, what I want to do here is convert all of this information or this here into a line chart, and then we'll make a second uh, data set as well. So we're going to say a line chart. First, save, refresh. Then let's add up here another data set. So we need two because we will have two images and both of them will be rep representing a fruit. In this case, I'll say this will be the pear and the pear is a green color, which is the uh, color number four. Then we have here, all right, let's remove all of those. There we are. If I save that, refresh. All right, that works. Then I want another one here, and that's the number six because we're going to use orange as our color. So I'm going to just remove all of this, and here the number six color, we will maintain that one. So if I save that, I'll say here orange. There we are. So let's split up these numbers by saying this pair will be number three, 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 so you can see the differences. Save, refresh. There we are. So what I want to do now is get the last value converted into a pair shape. To do this, we must understand a little bit about the point style. So let's start to work with this in the options here. We're going to say the following. We're going to say here the elements. And within the elements here. So what we need here is in the elements, we're going to say here. We're going to say the point because we're going to work basically with the points. These items here are called the points and we're going to assign a point style. So for now, I'm just going to show you here. We're going to say here the point style and this will be, we can make an array. We're going to say a circle, which is a default. And then we can say a triangle, for example. So if I save this, what will happen is of course, make sure you have a comma here, not a dot. Let's save and refresh. There we are. So you can see here we get a sequence now. Circle, triangle, and same here below. So what I want to do is, in an array structure, we need to know how many items need to be circle, and then finally, we add up in the array where we push the value of the image. So that's what we're going to do here. But of course, for this, to do this, I'll build a function for this. So I'm going to say here, get the point style function. Let's grab this and then we're going to work here up to work on creating it. So I say here constant get the point style style will be eventually the data point and I'm going to show you what this does. So let's do console log and just say give me all the data points data. As I do this, we get the whole object, which is basically the same as if you would do it within here. However, we get it here for the every individual data point here. So that's very important. You can see here the data point, the data index number, and then uh, whatever we all have here, the values, etc., etc. Doesn't really matter so much. All I need to do here first is some additional information. So the first thing what I would like to do here is say constant, and I'm going to say here data set length because I want to grab the length. How many data points are there? Because it does not show it here in our object. It will only give us what data point or what the index number is where we're currently on and then it will loop through it. So what I need to do here now is just to grab that. To grab this, I basically, basically need from a specific view of this, which is individual of a data point, we have to zoom out and go to the whole object of the chart. This is also possible. And the way to do this is, we're just going to say here the data point, and then the data point will say here, the chart object. Let's go into the chart. And by doing this, we now have the full 
I guess the helicopter view or the top view here which you can see here now we get everything and we can go now into I guess here some of the data if I'm not mistaken uh, we are here in the chart can we see it here data or oh, of course it's in here this data object and you can see here we get all the information this is what I need and well for now what I just need is to get the values how many data points so I'm going to say here to the data so from chart to data which is basically this um, here down so if we are basically back into the chart that's this start here this point here then we go into the data we jump into the data here and we can say here labels and just grab the length because we have this amount of items that we're seeing so I'm going to use that same structure here data dot labels and if I refresh you can see here we get the array of all the labels but now I want the dot length just get how many we have and then of course minus one because we're working with an array all right so we have here now six items and that's fine so what I want to do next is I need to get the data label and the data label is um, individual of the pear and the orange and what we're going to do is we're going to match them with the arrays so we're going to say here constant and then we're going to say here the data label and the data label will be the data point dot data set the individual data set dot label I want to know the label of it because we have two of these labels and I'm saying here data should be data set make sure data set label or any anything you can give it but let's give a data set label because I want to extract this label and then figure out is this data set one or zero this is important because we're going to assign an image afterwards so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say a constant and then I'm going to say here the data set index and what I will do here is combine this together so I'm going to say the data dot data sets and I'm going to say dot find the index so it will learn index of course it will learn and understand that we have here now for every data I guess the data uh, set data set then function error expression and I'm going to say for every data set the label will be equal to the data set label here so it will now understand that this is now an array and which position it is so once we have this we can now start to see here as well let's see what we get we should get the numbers I guess you can see here already it starts to figure out in which position it is all right so you can see here all right this is data set number one and it should get here probably from the green one certain value now this is very important because now we should be able to create a point style with the right structure so what I'm going to do now is going to say here constant let's give this a style point array which is a custom array I'm going to make and this array should have the X amount of circles and then finally here the image so what we're going to do here now is 4 and then we have here the let value of i equals let equals i uh, sorry let i equals zero then we're going to say here for every i we're going to loop through based on our data set length we did minus one here already then we're going to say here i plus plus and keep on reiterating it so what i want to do here now is i just want to have in this array i'm going to just push a specific design so i'm going to say push what do we want to push the circle once we did this we should have now an X amount of circles so we can see a console log save that and let's remove this console log here and remove that console log here save refresh and as you can see here we are getting now six times the circle which is fine because the last one will be the image for now I just going to put in quite simple a triangle but we're going to of course convert this into an image uh, all right we have here the triangle 
and let's see where the triangle is. Triangle. So right now you don't see it yet, I realize, because we're not returning the value. So what I want to do is I want to return this array now. Once we did that, we should have our triangle being shown in there. As you can see, it works. So we have this. What about the image? So what I'm going to do, and this is the reason why I have this prepared in advance, because we're going to put in here the image. You can imagine we might have the image in here. So I'm going to say an image will be one exactly. I have two shapes I forgot to show you in the beginning. But these are just images of a orange and a pear. You can give it, you can get any kind of link. I am just put it on my desktop or on my uh, documents file. So I'm going to put that in there. And then we have the next one, which will be the pear shape. And the pear will be here, comma, image. And we're going to say a pear. If I save that, nothing happens. And of course, we're allowed to do this because this is just a JavaScript object. So we can add up our own namespaces as well. So what I want to do now is basically grab whatever this image is based on which data set index number we are, or basically which data set we are in. So that's basically what I want to do here. So we know which data set we're in. So we need to know now what is the image. So how do we do this? So in here, I'm going to say here the image that we're going to create. So we're going to create an image object. So we say constant image will be equal to the new image object, which is basically new image. And then we're going to say here our image dot source, which is basically the link, will be what exactly? Well, based on a structure here, we can say once we are into the data. So we're going to say here. Uh, let's see here if we can grab that one. Probably we can grab it immediately. Say data dot data sets. And if you're wondering how do I get this? Well, basically it's here. I'm in the data. And we go to the data sets. And then we're going to say here image. But we need to know which index number of our data set here. And the answer lies in this item here dot image. So that is the source code. What I want to do now is just to make sure we have this correct. So I'm going to say here, console log image, refresh, open up here. And you can see here we get pair, pair, pair. Do we see a orange as well? As you can see here, it loops through it and it understands now the right item. So if I say copy this, put it in here, whatever the item is, we get now the pair and the orange showing. Of course, you can say here, hold on, it's being clipped out. What can we do with this? Two items that we can do. First of all, maybe your image is huge. You want to change that. So you can say here dot image dot height. Let's make this only 20 pixels. And then we say image dot width. Let's make this as well 20 pixels. Let's save that. That's a bit better, but we're still being clipped or the image is still being clipped out. So that specific part, what we could do else is basically give it a bit more padding on the right side. So I'm going to scroll down here. We're going to see in the options, we're going to say your layout. And then in the layout, we're going to say here padding. And then in the padding, we can say here right, because I want to give the right side padding. Let's give it a 20 pixel of padding. And all right, interesting. It doesn't even show. So let's see what am I missing. Alright, so after a while checking, I'm not able to find an answer on a short notice. So I thought this would work or either removing the clip effect. However, it does not work because it's an image, so it works slightly different than what I would expect. Anyway, there will be another video coming very soon covering that specific item.